Welcome to episode four, on-page SEO, optimizing for SERP visibility. So today we're going to be exploring the importance and the processes around developing a really good on-page SEO strategy from URL structure to title tags, to meta descriptions, to schema markup and everything else in between, making sure that you get your on-page SEO Fit for standard is critical to all of the other efforts that you put into your search engine journey. Want to stay connected? Why not hit the subscribe button and stay tuned? So, have you ever seen a Marine in a movie that's about to graduate and they turn up in their dress blue D uniform, but without a utility cap? Basically, a Marine without a hat. Nope, neither have I. The point of that is, is that if you turn up at any graduation event, with effectively your pants down, then it doesn't matter how much effort, it doesn't matter how much work, it doesn't matter how much brilliance there might be about your links, about your website, about your content, if you have poor on-page SEO. So when Google goes to crawl and then index and then reward your website, if you have any problems with your on-page SEO, it might just hurt you a lot or a little bit, but not to worry, in this episode, I'm going to show you exactly how to remedy that. So we're going to be going through the three C's, code, content, and connection capital. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's get into the content clarity. As you can see, I'm back in SEMrush and there's a pretty amazing tool that they've got called the SEO content template. So based upon that keyword that we were looking at, which was SEO services, what it will do is, and again, there's a range of options here, desktop, phone, etc. We'll just search for the UK at the moment. We'll even potentially search for a region. Let's search England. Let's search London. And what this does is gives you an option from a local search perspective. And we'll look based upon, for example, desktop, or we can do phone. Let's do phone just to see. And then the target keyword could be SEO services. So here, what you'll see is it gives you an automated content brief. So one of the challenges when it comes to content clarity is being clear on, well, what do I need to do from an SEO perspective to ensure that I produce the right information in this piece of content? Because the goal with a commercial keyword such as this to rank, of course, in the SERPs is to ensure that we're producing the right information within that keyword. And as you can see, SEMrush analyzes your top 10 ranking rivals for each of your keywords. So we'll go ahead and see what result it's produced for us. There you go. I did not even need to pause. As we can see, we've got the list of Google's top 10 rivals. We've got Pearl Lemon in there at number one. We've got the semantically related keywords. It talks about backlinks, which we'll come to later. It looks at readability. It looks at content length. And as you can see here, see how your competitors use your target keywords. It gives you an incredible handle on how to effectively think about producing content in a clear way, going all the way from keywords, competitors, how your competitors are using those keywords to also page titles, meta descriptions, H1s, and text. So using this basis, you'll be in a strong position to start really clearly producing content. So now based upon this content template. Let's assume you've already produced a page. The page has been put live on, on your website. Now we can go and head over to the on-page SEO checker. So you can create a project in here. So I've gone ahead and already done that. Let's head over to the Pearl Lemon project, as you can see here. And within here, you get view all pages and ideas because it can give you pages to optimize as a suggestion, but you can go ahead and import keywords and pages. So let's go ahead and import a page ourselves manually. And in here, what we can do, now we've already optimized this page for SEO. Let's have a look at what happens if we, op if we look at a page, SEO services, that hasn't been optimized for this target keyword. So we go ahead and add page. We'll go ahead and collect ideas. And what you'll see within this tool, the on-page SEO checker, is it has given us seven ideas. So let's just bounce back and we'll go to view all pages and ideas. We'll jump into here and have a look at the seven ideas. And if we head right over to, for example, the content section, there is some technical information it gives us about the meta tags, the body tags, the keyword tags, 
the title tags and so forth. It also gives us information about any potential outstanding technical issues. What is the page being crawled? Is there any issue with duplicate content, duplicate title tags, internal links going to the page? And then you can, of course, on the right hand side, have a look at this from a reference standpoint to determine whether they're, well, really to determine if you are unclear about fundamentally what this means. So using this, this page, the on-page SEO checker in combination with the SEO content template is a really powerful way to build your code cleanliness alongside your actual content for clarity. Okay, so now let's talk about connection capital. So what is that in reference to? It's fundamentally the internal and external link building structure of a website. So you can go ahead and set up a site here in the site audit page. And then once you've got to this section, you can head over to the internal linking page. So if we go over to the internal linking page, you can see we've got a score of 69%. It was updated a little while ago and it seems that it's gone down by 4%. So this is a really powerful page because fundamentally what you want to look at is the errors that appear, the warnings that appear, and then the notices. So another way to look at this is by examining the internal link rank table because this will give you a, a real sense of page strengths based upon the number of outgoing links. So how many fundamentally pages is this URL linking out to? And you can connect to Google Analytics to get a better sense of things in terms of page views and really have a look at this section here. And what you want to do is to build fundamentally internal link distribution that is equal across all of the pages. So by building your internal link distribution based upon your ILR, you're going to really get better results in terms of your link distribution across the site. So this is what we mean by connection capital internally. And then what we can do to look at things externally is heading over to the backlink analytics tool. And if we head over to the backlinks analytics tool, we can then type in our site once again. So we we'll go ahead and type pearllemon.com, pop it into here. And then in here, you'll get a real sense of your authority score. And this is, as you can see, it's a SEMrush metric and you can run comparisons against your competitors and then determine what is it that we can improve as compared to competitors on Google. So there you have it. That is the end of the three C's. Hey guys, we come to the end of episode four. And just to recap, we went through content clarity, code cleanliness, and connection capital. And now let's look forward to episode five.